If you've ever wondered whether ChatGPT5 or Grok4 actually helps with daily tasks instead of just sounding impressive in demos, yeah, I needed to find out too. I used to just pick whichever AI felt faster that day, but then I ran the same 10 real-world prompts through both free tiers, timed them, scored them, and kept it brutally practical. And the results surprised me. Welcome back to bitbias.ai, where we do the research so you don't have to. In this video, I'm breaking down exactly how ChatGPT5 and Grok4 handle the stuff you actually need. Coding help, quick math, email drafts, creative writing, same prompts, fresh chats each time, no browsing features to muddy the results. From response speed to copy-paste readiness, I tested what matters for normal daily use. First up, let's talk about why I turned off all the fancy features and focused purely on core model performance, or why core model performance matters. Here's the thing, when you're using these tools daily, you're not always going to have browsing enabled or premium features unlocked. I wanted to test what you actually get with the free tiers when it's just the AI reasoning through problems without any external help. Most comparison videos test the flashy features that sound impressive, but aren't available to everyone. I'm more interested in which model actually thinks better, writes clearer, and gives you usable answers when it's just the core AI doing the work. That's what determines your real daily experience. The complete free tier showdown. So here's exactly how I tested them. I used 10 identical prompts across both platforms with completely fresh chats to avoid any memory bias. No browsing, no plugins, no advanced features, just the core models reasoning through real problems. Each prompt tested different capabilities. Mathematical reasoning, code writing, debugging, data analysis, explanatory writing, knowledge boundaries, precision tasks, professional communication, creative writing, and practical planning. Let me walk you through each test and show you exactly what happened. Test 1. Mathematical Reasoning Optimization Problem Mathematical word problems are where AI either shows its logical reasoning or falls apart completely. I wanted to see which model could handle multi-step calculus without browsing for formulas. Prompt. Without browsing, a farmer has 48 meters fencing for a rectangular pen along a barn. Barn is one side. What dimensions maximize area? Show steps and final numbers. Both models solved the calculus correctly, but ChatGPT5 delivered the clean, step-by-step -step solution I needed without extra elaboration. Grok4 provided more educational context, but took longer to get to the answer. When you need just the solution, ChatGPT5's directness wins. Test 2. Python Function Writing clean, functional code from scratch is a daily reality for developers. This test checks whether you get production-ready code or something that needs major cleanup. Prompt. Write a Python function that takes a list of transactions and returns total per category, DICT. Add a two-line doc string and one test case. ChatGPT5's code was immediately copy-pastable, with clean formatting and minimal but sufficient documentation. Grok4's version included more verbose explanations that beginners might appreciate, but for quick implementation, ChatGPT5's concise approach proved more practical. Test 3. Code Debugging and Explanation When code breaks, you need an AI that can not only fix it, but explain why it broke, especially for learning or team collaboration. Prompt. This Python throws an error. Fix it and explain the bug in one sentence. Code with delete while iterating bug. Grok4 excelled here with its step-by-step -step breakdown of why deleting list items while iterating causes index errors. The explanation was clearer for non-experts, while ChatGPT5 gave the correct fix, but with less educational value. For learning purposes, Grok4's approach was superior. Test 4. Data Analysis from CSV Quick data insights from spreadsheet snippets happen constantly in business contexts. Can these models spot patterns without needing full dataset uploads? Prompt. Given this CSV snippet, summarize three insights in bullets, five rows of website traffic data. Essentially, identical results. Both identified the peak day, lowest performance, and channel dominance patterns correctly. No meaningful difference in analytical capability. Both delivered exactly what was requested with similar formatting and insights. Test 5. 
Explanatory writing for non-technical audience. Explaining technical concepts to clients, colleagues, or customers requires genuine understanding, not just buzzword regurgitation. Prompt. Write 120 words explaining vector databases to a 12-year-old. Avoid buzzwords. Use one analogy. Grok 4's explanation felt more conversational and natural, using a library catalog analogy that was genuinely accessible. ChatGPT 5's version was accurate, but slightly more formal. For content that needs to be read aloud or feel human, Grok 4's tone advantages became apparent. Test 6. Knowledge Boundary and Hallucination Resistance AI models often confidently state incorrect information. This test checks whether they can accurately describe their own limitations without making things up. Prompt. Without browsing. Name exactly three limitations of Transformer LLMs and cite no sources. Plain statements only. Both delivered identical accuracy with proper limitations. Training data cutoffs, computational requirements, and context length restrictions. Neither hallucinated sources or added unnecessary complexity. Perfect tie on factual knowledge tasks. Test 7. Structured Data Extraction Converting unstructured text into clean JSON is a common automation task that requires precise following of instructions. Prompt. Extract entities as JSON from this text. Keys, person, date, amount. On July 10, 2024, Alice paid Bob $1,250 for editing. Return only JSON. Both returned clean, properly formatted JSON with correct key value pairs. No extraneous text. Perfect adherence to the only JSON instruction. Another perfect tie demonstrating both models handle structured tasks equally well. Test 8. Professional communication. Email drafting with the right tone and length constraints mimics real workplace communication needs where getting the tone wrong has consequences. Prompt. Draft a firm but non-accusatory email asking a contractor to stop scraping our site. Professional tone. 120 to 150 words. Grok 4's Canvas editing interface made this the clear winner. While both wrote comparable initial emails, the ability to make quick refinements to tone and phrasing without starting over gave Grok 4 a decisive advantage for real-world email composition. Test 9. Creative writing with constraints. Creative tasks with technical constraints Test whether AI can balance artistic expression with precise rule following. Useful for content creation and marketing. Prompt. Write a six-line poem in Tersa Rima about monsoon rain on a city roof. No rhymes with rain. Grok 4's creative writing felt more natural and poetic while still adhering to the technical Tersa Rima structure. ChatGPT 5's version was technically correct, but less engaging. For creative tasks where tone and flow matter, Grok 4 consistently performed better. Test 10. Practical Planning and Organization Task planning with specific formatting requirements tests whether AI can create immediately actionable outputs for project management. Prompt. Make a five-step checklist to prep a demo of my AI app for a client tomorrow. Each step, 12 words, add estimated minutes. Both delivered practical, immediately usable checklists with realistic time estimates. The formatting was clean and the advice was sound from both models. Perfect tie on straightforward organizational tasks. The surprising performance patterns. The final score. ChatGPT5 won two tests, Grok4 won four tests, with four perfect ties. Neither model dominated across all categories. ChatGPT5 excelled in mathematical reasoning and technical precision, while Grok4 won in debugging explanation, creative writing, professional communication editing, and explanatory content. The ties occurred in data analysis, knowledge tasks, structured extraction, and planning. Areas where both models perform identically well. Response speed, reality, check. Grok4 consistently delivered responses in two to five seconds, while ChatGPT5 averaged 10 to 15 seconds. This speed difference becomes significant during iterative work sessions where you're refining outputs or exploring multiple approaches to the same problem. Cost-benefit analysis. During free access, both models offer substantial capability during their free access periods. 
Grok 4's interface advantages and response speed create better daily workflow integration, while ChatGPT 5's accuracy and conciseness suit users who prefer minimal editing and maximum precision. For everyday tasks where you need an AI that feels like a helpful assistant rather than a technical tool, Grok 4 edges ahead with its speed, natural communication style, and editing interface. But if you're looking for precise, no-nonsense answers that require minimal cleanup, ChatGPT 5 still delivers exactly what you ask for. The real insight here isn't that one model crushes the other. It's that your daily workflow determines which free tier serves you better. Grok 4 wins for conversational, creative, and iterative tasks, while ChatGPT 5 excels when you need clean, direct solutions. What surprised me most was how the editing experience and response speed mattered more than raw accuracy for daily use. Both models are remarkably capable, but Grok 4's user experience advantages make it feel more like working with a colleague than querying a database. Which daily AI tasks do you find most frustrating with current tools? Editing outputs? Waiting for responses? Or getting overly complex answers when you need something simple? Share your biggest AI workflow pain points in the comments. I read every response and test scenarios based on what you actually need. If this real-world comparison helped you choose between free AI options, hit that like button and subscribe for more practical AI tool testing. Next week, I'm comparing all the major players, Grok 4, GPT-5, Claude 4.1, and Google Gemini, and we'll see who wins this ultimate AI war. If you have any favorites or predictions, let me know in the comments.